Stack is one of the biggest names in hockey equipment. The O stick is one of their newest forms of technologies for their sticks. Okay, this here is the first version ever made of the Reebok O stick. It's the 9K O stick. Um, it's 60 inches long with a 40 regular flex. This stick um, includes the main focus, which is O technology. O technology is circular ports that go through the shaft of the stick. What they're made for is to let air go through while the stick is being swung and it makes the stick very um, aerodynamic. It also, down here, has a toe curve blade, which is for better wrist shots. The stick is black, silver, and green, and you can get it in other colors. Um, throughout the paper, I talk a lot about how different hockey players take their sticks in different areas. On this, uh, on this stick specifically, it's taped up here at the top, and right around the toe of the blade. Okay, um, as I was saying, players take their sticks on their own personal preference. On this specific stick, um, as I already reviewed, it's taped here up the top and down towards the blade. All right. um, the owner of this stick, my good friend Tom, he taped his stick in these two locations basically for grip. This up here, he gets a better grip on the stick when he's holding and while he's playing. Um, also, the taping right here prevents the stick from getting wet from sweat or moisture off of your hands. And the taping of the toe of the blade is to help get a better grip of the puck while playing and hitting it. Okay, now back to the main focus of the stick, O technology. This area right here, the use of O technology gives the stick its name pretty much. Um, there's these just power port holes right along the lower bottom of the shaft. This here keeps the stick more stabilized. Um, each hole is made of two arches. The arches are to decrease shaft rotation. Um, according to many people who have had this stick, the stick doesn't ever break over in this area since it has so much stability from these power points. There's more breakage of the stick up here since it doesn't include the power points along the whole stick. Um, this makes the stick very aerodynamic um, and they pretty much define the stick as a whole. Okay, another very important factor of all sticks is what they're made of. This stick specifically is made up of fiberglass and part graphite. Back in the day, um, it was experimented and manufacturers would try to make hockey sticks out of 100% fiberglass, but it was unsuccessful and did not show good durability. Um, so they didn't ever end up manufacturing those. This stick here, which is made up of fiberglass, is very popular and it's not just this stick specifically. Um, a lot of players choose to pick fiberglass made sticks because of durability. But some players do choose wooden or aluminum instead. Um, typically, it is appropriate for someone to choose a stick made of wood if they're an amateur player and they expect their stick to break easily. No matter what the stick is made of, how expensive it is, and how stable it is, every stick can break during high impact, no matter what. It just depends on the force and pressure of the game. Okay, on this stick it has a toe curve circular blade. Um, the toe curve on a blade is for more um, accurate wrist shots and grabs a better grip on the puck. The taping of the toe of the blade helps with uh, more gripping of the puck as well. There are different versions of this stick, some that recognize professional players who use this stick. One very common and popular name of an NHL professional player who uses this stick while playing is Pavel Datsuk. So this is his version of the stick. Um, the features of the stick are listed throughout down the stick. 